Clint ng previous game, Brody Gold Lane in this game. Super standard Rafaela plus Lilia. Yuzong to counter the uh, the marksman of the enemy. Super standard gameplay. <laughs> Ano nga mo, basically, salang sa lamig, salang sa init, always keeps you guessing, and that alone makes you uncomfortable, and that might be one of the gambits in Coach Yeb's arsenal. Pero si Zico, hindi naman magpapa isa dito. Uh, he's giving them uh, their comfort heroes. And again, after the Sicilian games of, of the previous games in the series, binigyan niya na ulit yung Matilda ni Hayes. So we'll see. It looks like a very hyperactive lineup. So to tola nga the Clint and the Hayabusa, great mid-game spike. Tapos sure, ang kanda ng mga single targets sinila in that Johan and in that Matilda. They can confirm kills and convert very very fast. Game number five. It comes down to this. One of these teams have to stop their journey in trying to become part of C Ball 2022. Next for Evos versus Onyx Philippines. Uh, they're starting on the same side, Wolf. Same side of the jungle. Purple for Onyx, orange for next play. Yeah. Okay, so unfortunately, para Enza ang kanyang na ejector ay yung uh, pakito mismo. So, di niya mari reset whatsoever itong purple buff. While, ito naman si Creed, uh, or the, uh, playing forward. We need to say, ay, uh, uh, mga bante agad siya. Marky, nice flicker yeah. out. But no punish whatsoever. Already, these two players are uh, do duking it out. Kaso, la na mang dun si, uh, uh, si Donut, knowing na meron pa siyang flicker. Yep, that's two minutes na medyo nasa danger zone si uh, Super Marky after this recall. Na alam niya rin eh. You can see in the minimap, kino control niya rin yung wave. <coughs> Para lang din hindi ganun kadali yung cart man management ni Donut. Bottom lane, Ureshi versus Dilar. Kumusta naman yung uh, matchup na to? What's what's the matchup like between uh, a Yuzhong and an Indian? At least in the laning uh, stage. I think yung uh, idea na yung passive ng Yuzhong tas melee versus melee based siya. Nalalamang dun yung Yuzhong almost all the time. Uh, at lalamang siya kasi hindi siya ever matatalon. Oh, it, it, at minimum 50-50. Kaya naman ang um, I think mga nakita natin na heroes para kay Dilarski. Pero ikaw go siya dun ni Hayabusa. Oh, it goes down. First blood, we were just talking about it. Mentioned it. Nagiba yung dynamic. Hindi na siya 50 50, of course. Nabigit na siya ng jungler. Hahanap tayo kung saan pupunta si Flick. Saan niya mahanap yung pagbawi dun sa early death ni Dilar. Start of this turtle. Nasa side siya ngayon ng Onik. Greed. Closing up. Nandito na rin si Hatred. And it's gonna be a turtle. Clean. Going over to Onik Philippines here. Well, Red team has to try. slain Go. the turtle. So, ang, ang laging uh, uh, ideology ng mga teams. So, okay, Supermarket will probably go down here. Yeah. Has been slain. Interestingly enough, he was a little too forward. And of course, next to Evo, oh. bibigyan talaga siya. What if you were saying? The mindset. Yeah, yeah good sa may bottom lane. Nung gino ni H2 doon si Dilar, he had to use his ultimate. And parang ano siya, he didn't na uh, go signal para sa Onyx Philippines na mag-take ng Lord. Yun nga lang, ang problema dito sa Onyx Philippines is hindi sila nagkaroon ng enough time para maka-respond dito sa kanilang top lane na Brody and Super Market drops in the top lane. Nakakuha ng uh, konting uh, salida dito si Donut with that 1 at 1 assist. Mm -hmm. And uh, mid lane still at parity. H2 here. Trying to go for greed. Ayaw niyang pindutin. Oh, hindi siya magka-commit dahil ito nga ay isang... Lilia that could just press the black shoes. Nami purify pa. So greed can just get away with it. Right now, it's going into the uh, babysit nation. It's a gold thing between Onik and Next Play. Oh, injector though. On to one. Hatred na holy dito. That's gonna be another kill going over Next Play Evos. Pagganda po yung stall mo lang kay Cadenza. And obviously, Onik Philippines. Uh, si Hatred, hindi niya talaga uh, na tansya na meron tao doon. He didn't exchange to Matilda, pero mga outer turret energy shields na lang dito sa my bottom lane. Ang ah, kapalit. Mid lane, I mean. Oh. Yep, forcing out the flicker. So alam nila na si Hayes ay hindi ganun ka mobile. So mid lane ay medyo destroyed. vulnerable. Fast push ng next lane ko sa top lane. Saan kaya makaharap ng bawe ang Onyx dito? Ureshi. Threatening and engage. Ito rin, no? Ang gandang combo nito, Wolf. Yung uh, circling eagle plus suplex. Oo. Oh, oh. Ang daming chain CC actually ng NXP. Imagine Matilda at Johet. 
Um, dati, pinag-aagawan to ng MPL Season 7 and 8. This time, hindi mo pwedeng nakikita mo together in one team. And that's scary. Um, kini ko hindi na wala yung value na pwede mo makuha mula dun sa unstoppable force dahil reliable stun siya. As well as the circling eagle. So a lot of uh, confirmed from NXT Evos with their composition. Red team has slain the turtle. Yeah. And Black Dragon form ginamit dito ni Dilar para lang ma-insure na walang papasok at makukuha nila ang turtle, second turtle of the game here. But where is next play Evos' lead coming from? Yes, na-push nila yung top lane. Yes, they do have three kills. Is that what explains this wolf? Kung bakit nga ba ahit sila ng mga 2k? That's right. That's the only thing that really uh, gives them the advantage right now. Red team oh, has been Sobrang gandang timing mula kay Tenzas. Man, so far this guy is... Proving to be a good addition para sa itang NXP EVOS. Ibang klase yung uh, control niya dito sa mapa. And with a traditional roamer on the jaw head, hindi na yata sanay ang Onyx Philippines dito. Lagi silang nahuhuli ng uh, join na to. So far, si Hatred nakuha na and did two kills on uh, two deaths. I mean, on, on here comes Dilarski. Napaaganda ng uh, performance on this guy. Oh! Black should already use that, plus the quad shadow, ang bilis sumagot ni H2. While we're waiting for more action, and I think Onyx PH has to slow it down, let's talk about Kadenza. You mentioned na napakagandang pick-up niya nga para sa next play EVOS. You know what it feels like, Wolf? Para siyang 2019 player in a 2022 rookie. And there's a trade happening from top lane to bottom lane. Saitlin goes down, Reshi goes down. Ang gulo, may push na may top lane si Donut Tier 2. Top lane. Bottom lane, it's a struggle here last night to see Hades. Oh my god, what just happened? Blue but the trade, trade has been trade destroyed. did happen. I think it was a lot more than NXP boss. Because even one for one, the trade is at the top. Dito rin sa bottom lane, one for one. Tapos, uh, outer turret, uh, inner turret yung nakuha ng NXP Evos dun sa may top lane. Which means, na mas maganda yung kanilang map control. Meron silang konting access dito sa may turret. But siya, naturally. Tapos, uh, you see, na lumaki din talaga yung economy ng NXP Evos because of that. Ahead of two, ahead 2,000 over Onyx Philippines. And it's a snowball in a game na hindi ganun kal na, na lumalamang ng NXP Evos for sure. Mas maganda yung kanilang late game scaling. Halos pala yung same position ng Onyx Philippines at NXP was what whoever is ahead in the early stages of the game, whoever controls the mid-game will take this win. Yep. And so far, next with Evos, ang sinabi nila, ang decision nila, ang pinapakita lang sa atin is hindi namin gusto yung turtle. May iba kaming hinahanap and that's turrets and kill. And so, this whole time, bumabande lang. Ito, si Cadenza, oh, threatening the ejector there. But that was enough. I think uh, this is uh, hatred using the flicker. So ngayon, again, another two minutes of relative vulnerability. Oh. At yung Onyx Philippines, parang sila yung naging victim ng sarili nilang uh, dasod sa kayo. Yung split pushing. Is, NXP is actually doing it so well. Yeah. Pag kinapad mo yung mga names, oh. yung mga team names dito, parang sila yun. Yung Onyx nasa inside. Yup, Circle Eagle able to give enough shields. The Menjo Pumectus pa. Menjo kumanan si Hayes doon. He will still go down. <laughs> Hatred still alive. Hopefully healing to get them to move out. And I think that was just the first or second time na nakita ko nangyari sa Matilda. It's swerving, you know? Uh, <laughs> then again, isang kill doon sa, sa mid laner ng NXP Evos. Oh! Ito kasi ang NXP Evos kasi nakakuha sila ng push sa may bottom lane. Oh! Suplex and ult. Flicker out as well. Expended for Ureshi. Nanakaw ba ang purple? Nope! H2 still secures it. And I think Onyx is slowly building up some confidence. Pero, tanong ko lang sa'yo, Wolf, ready na ba ang Onyx? Kaya na ba nilang maging aggressor ulit sa sitwasyong ito? They are down about 2k gold. When it comes to firepower, yes, kaya naman nila. When it comes to the items, siguro arguable, but I think the real question is, uh, can they afford na hindi sila ganun? Kasi feeling ko imperative siya. Losing this mid lane turret para sa Onyx Philippines means the world para sa kanilang team. At laking uh, um, map control ang naibigay niya sa Onyx Philippines. Oh, break off on the hatred. Red Team Hero has been slain. Oh, oh, has been slain. Yep, off come si Dilar. Now, welcome Red to the Oresho at the H2. Pero si Flick, makakabawi naman sa isa. It's hate. He's gonna take him down. I think I also found another answer to that question is, will the map allow it? Kasi may mga ganun mangyayari na parang mahihirapan ka dahil sa mapa. Suplex plus bato. 
Dito kay Green, popping that black shoes. And now it's Flick, we're taking a lot of damage. Played it out for Cadenza. Flick's gonna get away with it. There's a shadow kill onto Green. Still alive. Oh, one shuriken toss. And that's going to be the trade. And the stun. Turn up my memory. Now it goes H2, a shot down by Super Marky. Oh my god, Marky. Super Marky played that well. Sobrang lupit na. Okay. The break that was. Nakakuha si ng kill si Flake with the aggressive maneuver with the punish. Tapos, nabuhay pa siya afterwards. Dahil, pagkatal pag siya shadow ni H2 forward, isang hit na lang tayo ni Flake, na-stun muna ni Super Marky. And then eventually, Onyx Philippines, hindi enough yung uh, yung stacks ni Hayabusa para para mag-focus far yung uh, yung Ogi Shadow kill kay Super Marky. At dahil doon ay nabuhay din siya. Mas natulungan nga. And then, nakaabang agad yung Holy Baptism. And then eventually, enough stacks. Mula doon naman kay Marky to pop the Torn Apart memory. What a great recovery. Because of the confidence and the composure na meron itong si Super Marky. Yep, and so far, next week, Ivos, and late and late nila, nasa 1k na lang, kanina almost 3k, but they still have map control. Wala pa rin nakoconvert masyado ang Oni Philippines due to their past couple of wins! Oh, unstoppable! Fast ejector into that bush! Did nothing to use it, pero enough yun para mabigla si Greed na hindi na siya ma-purify and black shoes. Diretso convert into this Lord. It's the first one of the game, not lethal. Pero kung ganito yung mapa mo, like how Onyx has it right now, nakalbo yung mga tore mo, mid-tier 2 na lang natitira. Next team is just going faster again. Back in the driver's seat. Not lethal, pero sobrang instrument, sobrang significant ito para sa Onyx Peebles. What they're doing right now is late freeze. Right? So pagsasabayin nila ito with the Lord. And very good discipline para makahanap sila ng mga outliers. Like low-hanging fruit. Like potentially Flake, pero nakaramdam si Flake. It was very scary, but at least the Flake was able to just run away from that. And the Onyx Philippines for sure, I got it in Sina Kaso. Oh, what? Okay. Black Shoes bait! Dito ang mag-unstoppable Forrest Cadenza, able to flick around with his life still intact. Meron pa siyang mortality, mind you. So far, Wolf, you were saying, ang action pack nung past two seconds. Yan ang sasabihin ko sana na comfortable dito yung Onyx Philippines kasi meron silang Lilia, but Greed actually walked Like he's walking in the park in my mid lane. Good thing is, he, alam na alam niya yung gagawin niya. This was uh, definitely a black shoes play. Yep. So far, successful defense by next play uh, by Onyx Philippines onto next play versus Siege. Next target is going to be mid. Uh, nag pop na ba yung mga inhibitor uh, minion? Yeah. So wala na wala na yung mga uh, inhibitor defense. Uh, yep. uh, measures ng Onyx Philippines. So, next play was they have to play for the next big play here. Red team Thank you, uh, definitely mga water na yung na yun. Thing is, si Greed ay uh, meron din tulong ng Rafaela. Siguro ito yung play talaga ng Onyx Philippines kaya meron silang Rafaela kasi parang double layers yung pwede maging uh, aggression mula dun sa Lilia. Kung baga, yung Lilia, na, na, bilang mage, na typically ay nasa backline, so ay, pwede siyang umangat ng counter. Yep, and again, it's both engage and disengage. So, itong hatred Rafaela is really paying for itself in the draft. It is keeping them alive. Ori Philippines down about 3,000 gold in 13 minutes. Lord coming up in 45 seconds. Ang ganda ng approach na next play dito. They're playing it safe. Nagpapakita sila, pero hindi alam kung nasa yung Hayabusa. Ori Philippines always have to watch out for that. In hatred, make play for vision. Checking. Oh, we will uh, have to uh, hold our breath here. Siguro, guys, hinga, hinga. too big. Oh, hinga, hinga muna. Very tight. Mm -hmm. Oh, very tight. I think uh, uh, we're just looking at a very close game. And pero uh, I'm pretty sure na mas na mas komportable naman, mas nakahinga naman ang mga NXP fans, knowing that they're 3k ahead and they're actually controlling the map. Wala ng outer turrets on side. Nang uh, ng Oric Philippines at laging good side niyan kasi ang talaga na ko na diyan is map control if they're smart enough ang NXP pwede nilang tanggalin or uh, alisin ang mga buffs ng side ng uh, Oric Philippines and then get their own bigay nila yung uh, purple nila doon sa uh, perhaps uh, other members 
um, other the uh, parang skill dependent members of the team and maybe even get the uh, orange buff ibigay nila doon sa clint para mas masakit yung damage and then get their own orange buff para to kay hayabusa tapos ang uh, kagandahan pa dito eh na-activate naman yung hayabusa ni h2 so isa sa mga bagay na pwedeng gamitin na pwedeng i-approach if you're using the hayabusa is to split push too kasi mabilis ka naman mag-traverse ng mapa mm -hmm. And so far, that's what they've been doing, managing the top lane, managing the bottom lane. And I think, mag overextend na konti, ipipilit tong wave sa taas, para sagutin, para may minus one. But wait, early! Black Dragon form here by Pilar, getting bursted down here. Oh, unstoppable force, hahanapan ng ejector. Cannot find it, there's a knock-up out of Odenza, popping immortality. At air mo, burst down na rin. He greed, but ibawi sila, Odenza going down as well. And so far, 4v4 pa rin ang labang ito. <laughs> all of the ultimates used. Uh, Siyempre, hindi mo ikakaunt yung Kyflake kasi mabilis yung cooldown yan. But uh, all of the battle spells used as well. Pati yung mga immortality. Pero oh. mukhang lamang pa rin sa control. Itong next play Evos, but they're respecting. Alam nila na pwede, posibleng uh, pumalag pa rin dito ang Philippines. At, and Grid is also slowly uh, spawn, respawning. Yung trade-off na yun, nagkapalitan, nagkasuntukan lang yung pares sa teams. Uh, and then nobody coming out um, ahead. Yun nga lang yeah. para sa Only Philippines, hindi ganun ka-healthy yung kanilang lane management which means na parang NXP ang mas mauna ulit dito sa round 2 ng Lord Dance. Yep, yung team fight kanina Wolf, papawis lang yun. Walang totoong damage, walang, ano, walang permanent consequences. But this time around, let's see. Lord and a third of its health, that's going to be the Black Dragon form. Dilar, dumodro, hindi ka na mga bilog. And is he gonna get bursted down? Is there no shy energy in him? The answer is no. That's gonna be the immortality pop. It's going to be one down. Donut bites it. Wala kong bawi dito. Oh, Dilar finally won. Oh, on the H2, you lord! Tapos ba back out with the guiding wind? Hindi pa tapos laban. That's going to be Oreshi flickering on out. And that's one for one. But eventually, next play Eve must get what they want. Oh, I'm surprised na naka the boy dun si Flick. Imagine uh, literally going up against three members of NXP Evos, but very good composure and uh, from X May Evos. We are gonna see it once again. Tignan mo dito si Oreshi as well as the joint, making sure na yung likod ng Onyx Philippines ay makaharapan niya. And H2 also positioned himself well. Pumunta mo na doon sa kaliwa with the shadow. Eventually, dipping back into the Lord fight nung kaya na niyang patayin. And Matilda as well, keeping taps of uh, Dilarski. Look really good para sa Onyx Philippines when it comes to the start, but uh, NXP have found their footing. Yep, and again, NXP now enjoying the largest lead they've had so far. It's always been around this level. It's always been around 3K, 4K at most. 16 minutes in, you gotta give kudos as well to Onyx Philippines. Ang ganda ng defense nila dito sa top lane. And now, kasalabungin nila itong waves mid and bottom. Still a deadlock. Yes, next play, Evos won wow. that last engagement. Pero Onyx knows how to deal with this situation, even if they are uh, dehado. Oh, grab it game na to. You don't know what to, what to expect, but abante pa rin ng NXP. Good thing is nakukuha pa rin nila yung mga Lord and gonna have to give it to Onyx Philippines. Ang naglang focus talaga is to take out Donut. Yun yung naging focus dito ni Flick and it was successful in doing so. Still, sobrang close ng ating laban sa ngayon. And uh, I think in 81 seconds, that's well above a minute, which means yun yun yung Lord, yung next Lord natin. Lord Evolve. Ito po rin kasi nasabi ng game. Onyx Philippines, are they gonna mm -hmm. go for the play this time? Pero na sila mga battle spells, and that's also true with NXP Evos. Ang gusto lang secure is the purple buff. Look at Cadenza. Ang ganda ng pwesto ni Cadenza dito. Might find an opening, but hindi na i-risk ng Onyx Philippines. That was very scary. Imagine mo yun si Marky. In range, Ooh. within arm reach ni Cadenza. Yeah, and pwede pa mag-tiktok plays given na may flaker ko si Cadenza pero mukhang uh, nag-overstay na nga dito They knew that after that orange buff hindi na kanila ang uh, bush na yon hindi na dapat tambayan dahil nga nalalagyan ni Hatred ng Vision ang mga bush na ito H2 with the shadow down south and Oreshi inuwan yung wave sa may baba so it's a level of freezing that will allow for uh, this next lord uh, to eventually be a better take for next play Evos Two lords to none, ah. Two lords to none. Let's say this next lord wolf mahanapa na onik ng paraan mahuka. Will that put them back on the map? Maganda rin ba ang depensa na next play Evos? I, I think oh, no. lamang ang onik ng bagya sa, sa wave clearing. Yes. 
Walang uh, walang ganun ka laking wave clear or fast wave clear to any Eagles comparably sa Onyx Philippines. And this is Lord Evolve. 18 minute Lord to. Anyone who secures this, sobrang laking advantage nun. So, oh, sobrang oh. ganda ng uh, lane flow ng NXP Evos to the point na napunta doon si Tick. Hindi ka na kaunting opening NXP at with Clint, mabilis lang to. Fortunately yeah. for Flick, isa siyang pakito. So, mabilis din siya mag-dash through the map. Yes. Pero I like yung position ng Inuresi dito. Kaya niyang gawin yun. Tapos alubungin niya ako sino man ang dumaan dito. Pero specifically si Flick. Si Flick yata ang inaantay niya para masu Flicks. Oh. oh! Wait lang. That's stacked. Placed on. And there you go. Flick in trouble. Now he rolls. Hayes gets a kill. Pero si Donut naman ang tatalo ng dito ni Dilar. Pero protect Angel underneath this turret. Hindi siya mabubuhay. They tried with that guiding wind. But that's the mortality pop of the general. Pakamagsay na rin siya ni Ureshi dito. 2 for 1 ang palitan so far. And it's gonna be Shadow Kill. Ace 2. Chop off si Longa. Take down Maloyski. Dalawa na lang ating tira si Hater. Jax is super marky. At mukhang nanalo na nga ang next three evils. Sa palitan. That's gonna be one more kill. Immortality pop on a 2. Super Marky traded out so far. Pero immortality lang ang mga wala dito side ng next play evils. And that's a wipeout. Woo! Well Shush! done, NXP Evos. They have managed to, to uh, isolate Flake. Ah, uh, medyo nag-stutter kasi yung screen ko, so hindi ko alam exactly what happened there. But this is game winning. Sobrang ganda ng wipeout na yun. Only Flake alive. 10 seconds for Dilar's game. Very unlikely for the defense. At nararap naman niya sa next play Evos. Ang next round. Ang ganda ng pag-stop nila. Galak na! Ladies and gentlemen, that is next play Evos taking game number five, moving on through the lower Enjoy. bracket. The dream is alive for Daniel Bataanon to bring his younger teammates that much closer to joining him once again to be part of C Paul GG well played for Onyx Philippines. Wow, that, that's super well done, Malasa NXP Evos. You gotta have to commit and meet yung uh, advantage sa side nila, right? It was a long drawn game, sobrang tiring nun for sure. Pero imagine this, they had what? Three rookies, dalawang veteranos sa kanilang side, but they still managed to win that series against a team with uh, with one rookie, right? Sobrang lupit no, dalo na yung game number five. Why? Because they managed to find the open against Flick. So far, that's the only death on Flick. Sobrang ganda ng pinapakita ni Flake all throughout this game. But in just one moment, na bait nila doon. Si Flake doon sa may bush. Eventually, na-attract din nila si Dilar. D Dilar knew na kaya niyang patayin doon si Donut and he was able to do so. But it uh, it actually asked so much from Dilarski. Masyado sila napakamit doon at nakahiwalay yung mga members ng Onyx PH. Wala si Rafaela to kind of salvage both Flake and uh, um, uh, Dilarski. Doon sa moment na yon at na one by one na lang sila ng side ng NXP Evos. Well done mula sa kanilang squad. Let's look through the smart plays here in this almost 20-minute match. Honestly, Onik was holding on very well. 